Hello, everyone, and welcome to the World Series of Board Gaming's coverage of the 2023 Ring Final of Splendor. As always, I'm Chris George, and I am joined to finish us up by my esteemed friend, Ruel Gaviola. How are you doing, Ruel? Great, Chris. I'm so happy to be here uh, calling another final table at the WSBG. I mean, what an event. Uh, so much great play, so many amazing players, and I'm really looking forward to this one. That's true. You and I did the patchwork final together and and boy, oh boy, it was that fun. Like it flew by. Uh, and I know that this one is a pretty short one compared to last year's Splendor. The players are playing a lot quicker. We got we got even more card sharks at the table ready to <laughs> optimize that engine. Uh, it's going to be a blast. Yeah, nothing like an optimized engine to get the juices flowing. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. What else could you ask for on this Saturday but an optimized engine? Uh, and if this looks fun to you, if you want to try your skills at WSBG, you can get tickets for the event in 2024. It's happening September 22nd to the 26th, and there still is time to get $50 off your ticket, which I'm going to tell you about right now. You could win your share of $100,000 in cash and prizes just for playing board games. The World Series of Board Gaming is back and bigger than ever. High-level play, friendly competition, national championships, there's no other event of its kind. Are you the next big name in board gaming? Get your tickets now at WSBGVegas.com and use the code IMN to save yourself up to 50 bucks. What are you waiting for? It's time to get in the game. So that promo finishes April 8th. That's Monday, April 8th. We extended it by a week to make sure that everybody didn't miss it over the Easter holidays. Uh, if you want to come participate, please do sign up. I want you to get the best deal possible and lock in those hotel rooms. I, it's a fun event. I mean, I'm biased because I'm behind it, but Ruel, you had fun. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm biased now, too. Uh, Y'all are bringing me out again this year. I had such a great time last year. Mm -hmm. It's such a cool event. Uh, not only the level of competition, but just the spirit of the competition. I mean, people are, are you know, they're serious about it, but it's still board games. and People are having a great time. I had a lot of fun um, getting trounced by eventual champions, <laughs> uh, but I'm looking forward to it again this year, Chris. Amazing. So let's turn over to the table. Let's meet our final four. These are the people who made it to the final table. Let's turn over to that right now. I have this on one side and these on the other side. Um, they wanted them all. all on this side. You, okay. you, can, you can move the coins over to this side if you want. Well, they probably haven't wanted for the camera. But they, they just wanted the cards. Oh cards that is true. We do want it, it for the camera. Uh, we're okay. meeting our players at the table in uh, the bottom right. We have John Noonan, uh, who's in seat one. Uh, seat two, we have Vlado Barun. Uh, seat three, we have Chris Wilds. And seat four, we have Lloyd Wasson. Unfortunately, the camera went down for uh, seat three and four, but we still have their beautiful, beautiful faces. And these are all of our four competitors in this final event as they get set up for the event. And here we go with the setup, We're bringing out those uh, gem cards and also the nobles up top. I don't know why that matters. And again, with a four-player game, we're looking at five nobles and then the standard uh, cards being set up in the, the middle there. Vlado flashing his, uh, his um, maybe an Apple watch, maybe a, a technical watch, whatever it is, it's going to keep track of his heart rate. That's one oh. thing we need for wow. the for the next World Series stream is heart monitors to see how much the players are stressed throughout the game. <laughs> I always know in Splendor, immediately as the cards are drawn, my heart rate goes through the roof as I try to pick my pathway to yeah. victory. That's so interesting. I, I didn't even notice that. I My heart rate goes up uh, exponentially as the game continues. <laughs> yeah. So just make sure you pass the card. I will try to keep up with that. Yeah, I am terrible at it, so I apologize. That, 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 that should be my entire job. We're hearing the voice of our judge <laughs> uh, saying to uh, to players, and we hear also the voice of Lloyd as well, saying that he's terrible at doing this. Passing this card around, this card indicates that your turn is over. Your turn is completely finished. Uh, you are done with that turn, and you are moving on. And John, right out of the gate, reserves that five-point card, seven white and three blue. And we hear Lloyd clarifying that as well. All, all of these players have so earned bad. their spot in this final table. And you can hear them tracking the big numbers so that if they need to block and if they need to hate draft gems, they know which ones to block. Uh, a, a really nice get from John first, getting that five-pointer up there. The only five-pointer that was on the board. But... 
I kind of like Vlado's opening move a little bit better, considering there are so many red gems yep. to start. That's right. <laughs> Not one and again, uh, in Splendor, you, you can reserve the, the three cards, and that'll be uh, three yellow gems. Is that correct? That is correct, yeah. You cannot reserve more than three cards. You must complete one of them if you want to reserve uh, any other ones. And, and as players probably know, we see another solid reserve. These players know that if they leave the cards on the table, somebody else will take them and put them into their bank. And they don't want that to happen. Yoink. And I do like having that uh, player card indicating whose turn it is. It's very clear and it's very, you know, straightforward. Like you know exactly who's done and who's uh, on the on the clock right now. I really like that about the WSBG. And we may not have a video on Lloyd, but we certainly have the top down, and we're seeing the only thing that matters. Lloyd is our 2022 Raw champion, and of course he's sporting that uh, Raw championship ring for everybody <laughs> at the table to see. Uh, every time he grabs a gem, he grabs it with that ring hand, you know, a little bit of a flex. Lloyd also made it to the finals of uh, Raw this year in 2023. Uh, he, he's a, a very solid competitor, so definitely one to watch. But anybody who makes it to these final tables has earned their spot. An interesting grab of this wow. green one for John. That one requires also requires white gems. And doesn't uh, doesn't really go towards his ultimate goal of completing that five uh, seven three that he's holding in his hand. Right. So I'm wondering if John is if that was just a blocking move right off the bat just to get that five off the board um, and he'll focus on other stuff right now. Yeah. We we shall see. And then Lloyd also having drawn the three blue, uh, requiring six blue to complete worth three points. Uh, or no, that one's still on the board. So maybe it was yep. uh, it was a different one that that he grabbed maybe a five i guess we'll wait and see already you can see if you're not paying attention in splendor and uh you're busy talking this is a very sort of heads down game where if you want to remember all of that information <laughs> yeah wow look at that so chris and lloyd back to back take two gems of the same color each so uh, just a reminder folks you could either take two of the same gem or three three different gems but when you take the two they must there must be at least i think four or five in the stack before you uh, can take those two exactly what i said i said it's gonna go gold 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 take two take two take two take two <laughs> wow lloyd calling out the play the power of player one that's why i said you're gonna win that's why i was like let's hopefully we can roll the dice <laughs> and the only way we beat you if you play correctly is if we get lucky. So hopefully we get lucky. Luckily, I got head seat one my last game, so that's why I'm sitting here. <laughs> Did everybody have seat one? Well, somebody had four. I somebody was, had four. I was. You had seat four. Yeah, watch out for him. He's, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Lloyd, yeah, Lloyd, coming from a raw background, uh, you, there's a lot of table talk in raw, and yeah. I, I really like tables with Lloyd because he's he's never shy. He likes to he likes to chat around the table. I think it calms him down, and if it uh, puts the other players on tilt or helps him uh, point out little blocks that they need to do so that he doesn't, I think that's uh, that's a key element to to sometimes Lloyd's strategy. Yeah. Plus, having that ring on his finger, I'm sure distracts folks as well. <laughs> But I think I was I was saying this before. All of these players should be commended. Everybody uh, making it to a final table at WSBG is a very very tough thing to do. Yes, it is absolutely. it is really tough. You have to make it through that whole the whole competition, and uh, and all of these players are very good players. Yep. John, it feels like he's going for. Well, he's going for blocking, or he's now going for things on the table. We see that John is now building up to that two white that's on the board. John desperately wants that two white because it'll chain into the two cards that he has in his hand. Right. Requires four red. That's why he's taking the gem composition that he has. Vlado, we know he's working on seven red. He took reds immediately to try to lock some down, and then now I think is expanding to get those little reds like we were oh, thinking of. Yep. Taking that last red and locking in the blues... And the the greens that uh, that's a tasty two brown up there, a really nice, a really nice card. Right. And just a reminder for folks at home, your limit is ten gems in your hand. So if you ever go over that, you have to return some back to the supply. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's not something that you want to to do. I actually saw somebody make a comment on the WSPG YouTube channel, um, 
at WSPG official, and they, they were watching the 2022 Splendor game. And they asked that exact question: Can you spend a turn trading your gems? And you can always take, you know, the three gems if there are three stacks to take from. You can always take over ten, but then you have to discard back down to ten. Yeah. So it's not really that optimal a play because you lose that turn of efficiency and in splendor efficiency is the only thing that matters it, it is really... so good. <laughs> lloyd's saying this is why c4 is so good he does not have the option to take three gems well you can block him cool he's already talking about blocking <laughs> nice. like right vlado, vlado getting getting into the table talk saying hey you can block john no problem <laughs> just take his card we know which card he's going for <laughs> Also, if Lloyd were to reserve right now, uh, he would not get uh, a wild gem. You can still reserve when yes. you have less than three cards reserved, but the benefit of reserving is that you get that wild gem, which is so versatile, and uh, you really want to be on the lookout for it. So yeah, Lloyd's got a tough decision here. I feel like the cards that he's holding must be uh, require uh, five blues, but I don't think Lloyd wants to spend them. Right. Must be sort of the, the lower version of that uh, of that six blue one, or I'm completely misinformed. <laughs> oh, you can just hear the gears turning, folks. I know this feeling. Oh, so well in this game. God. The best part about Splendor is are the chips. We see Chris counting his gems there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chris knows he can only take two more for peak efficiency. I'm not quite sure what uh, Chris might be going for. He might be hoping that everybody donates back their green gems, but even still, he wouldn't be able to take a, a stack of, he wouldn't be able to take two because there would only be three left unclaimed by Chris. Right. That's gross. As there are seven in each stack of each color. Yeah, Lloyd, looking at the, the browns and the whites, there are no cards on the board that really benefit browns and whites. I don't like doing this. Oh, and there he so, is. And so he does play that five blue. My yep. my memory wasn't wasn't mistaking me just yet. At least I can <laughs> hold my splendor head up high. <laughs> but you hear him say, I officially don't yes, like doing this, and we see why yeah. John's able to well, to pick blue. up that chip. Take the blue. I done it. Yep. So, but I, I think the only play like only play for Lloyd. The way the game works. John is now full up on cards, though. There will be no more reserving for John unless he completes them, but he's going to complete the one that he, he did pretty quickly, although that white one that just came out is a pretty nice one for John as well. Yeah, he'll be able to, he should be able to afford that. And we see Vlado uh, just got a red. Yeah, Vlado yeah, capitalizing. Okay. Yeah. Building towards that seven red in his hand. Red's a nice color for this board. You can see that seven... Uh, six of the eight point getting cards that are currently shown uh, need a significant amount of red. Yeah. If not the highest number, then the second highest number. It's a it's a really decent strategy to invest in. I always find it's always tough because you don't want to spend your time getting too many of those level one cards. High level players kind of generally opt for the level two because yep. it's it's a it's easier to get. But I, I think Flato making a really Nice investment here with that with that red. Just judging by the board state right now. Agreed. Okay, and then Chris is going to take gems, so he should be all filled up now. Yep, he just takes two rather than taking three and then putting one back. Mm -hmm. And he was able to get a blue because uh, Lloyd had spent those. Yeah. And speaking of Lloyd, he takes two more blue, and here comes John. There comes John going in that white strategy, getting two points on the board. Two points for Lloyd, two points for John. A card down for Vlado, but the points can swing uh, very quickly as we all saw all of those uh, those high number cards go out. This is music to Lloyd's ears, though. He he's looking to capitalize on those wild cards and is hoping that um, Chris doesn't reserve. Chris probably won't reserve because he's at ten chips. Right. We'll see if Vlado decides to take a reserve or if he just capitalizes on taking gems to continue to invest in that red strategy. Because he yeah. can pick up a red 
and you know a couple others you know another blue and a green to to be close to that uh, to that other red level right. or he could just go for that wild yeah and john's spending those wilds it, it does open up things and you know lloyd i'm sure he's looking at that wild thinking i need to get one of those back into my supply mm -hmm. here but vlado i think is he going to get another red that's i'm really curious mm -hmm. cuz i think vlado's only sitting on red the only the only gems yeah. he sort of picked up were the blues and the greens to to complete that red one he might have an, one more but Vlado really pondering this move yeah. and it's important like every move counts in splendor if yeah. you if you lose out on a move of efficiency one of your opponents may not do it it's yeah. it's a really tight game especially played at this level and we see Vlado deciding and he goes re-ups okay. on the blue and the green again having his eyes i think set on the most valuable colors at the table right now which are blue and green just depending on the board spread and we might see him invest in another level one card which i usually I don't like yeah but i may like it for this board right yeah given that he's already have that one level there the red mm -hmm. why not get another okay now it's chris so he's all filled up what is he gonna do here it's difficult for Chris, too, because he's at 10 gems, but he's only at five green and one wild. So we know he needs seven green to complete that large card, which right. he's eyeing. And so either he wastes a turn here, taking a wild to make sure he can complete that green on the next turn, or he tries to comp complete something small. But I don't see anything small that he has down there. So he does go for this. Oh, there it is. It takes one of the reds, the little he reds. He takes one of the reds, and he has to throw one away. And throw away the white one or nope the black yeah black okay. makes sense an interesting an interesting grab for chris i might have gone for the the one of each I really, right i think i should have you're right you're right i should have i should say thank you to both of you yeah lloyd very happy that he's able to get that wild yeah and reserve the card that is integral to his chain going up that blue track it always works okay lloyd checking or john checking this you can't tell me none there. of y'all can don't complain you're sitting at this table <laughs> lloyd continuing with the table talk love it. Generally, generally, that's, 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 generally not during. that's required lloyd talking about how complaining is his is his yeah, number one strategy sure everybody knows that everybody <laughs> at the table played awful and you played amazing <laughs> All right, John takes a black, blue, and a white over to Flotto. Yeah, really nice, solid build for John. I was worried with his first couple grabs, but it looks like he's r really correcting and has read it, read yeah. it really nicely. Yeah, Flotto looks like he's going to be buying a card here. Yeah, he wants to grab the red, the black, and the white on, on gut because... Uh, because he would be able to to get that other red one down that level one card, but I think he opted maybe for two reds and took took the chance, so that he can just complete his seven. He can just complete his seven next turn, and keep his wild as well. A really really nice get for Vlado being able to. Yeah, well, he, said he just took he just took one red. He just uh, just oh, filled okay. up on his red, but uh, and held on to the blue and green, recognizing their value. But yeah, yeah. I yeah, find with Splendor you with don't want to spend. There he is. Unless yeah. you have to, unless you can get a big card out there like Chris just did, moving it to four points, you don't want to. You, you don't want to waste those wilds, right? If you can, if you can get a card and keep and then build the card without spending that wild, you're in an infinitely more flexible position than you would be otherwise. Yeah, yeah, that's huge. Okay, back to John. Uh, he is going to reserve yes, the one point white. Really and nice card for John yeah. there. And now he's got two of the uh, gold, so he's got some, some extra flexibility. Yeah. And again, building towards that white engine for him. Anything that has points on it that is white, he's he's looking for. Yep. All right, here comes Vlado. All right, Vlado, built the yeah. four pointer. I'll play to the camera. I know. Lloyd's saying he's playing to the camera. Sorry, Lloyd. 
I, I'm sure I'm sure it was a great play, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we'll we'll assume that uh, you had some very great uh, gym looks from the office, and we'll, we'll we'll put them in post. There you go. <laughs> we, we won't. I'm the one who puts them in post. <laughs> I was gonna say that's extra work for you, Chris. <laughs> All right, so back to Chris now. Uh, he's got a couple of whites and a blue. What's he looking at here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chris had a really nice start, similar to similar to Vlado, but Vlado's been able to get an an extra card out, a level one card out, at the same time that everybody else has gotten sort of a points card down, which is pretty impressive in terms of flow and efficiency. Right. Yeah, it's a tough. It's tough with what Chris has. Chris reserved that extra red, so might have been go, wanting to go down a red path and match up his reds. I'm not sure why he reserved that one point red rather than sort of a two pointer that he would want to focus on. Right. Now he's thinking about <laughs> reserving here. And maybe it was just a case of like Vlado beat him to the punch with those reds, mm -hmm. right? So. Okay, he's going to reserve the black with the point yeah, on it. Yeah, that's a solid, okay. a nice yeah. solid reserve. Also a bit of a denial to Vlado now having built towards that, that black engine. Yep. Okay, Lloyd's going to take three. Yep, Lloyd building up towards his uh, six blue to give him three points and put him into into the leader position if he gets that out. Oh, I keep forgetting that. Sorry about that. Okay, back to John with the two gold, uh, the extra flexibility here. He's got choices to do and he's going to take uh gems all right yeah john sitting at two black two white again just wanting to get that white he's he's pretty close to completing that that sort of level two that he was working on that the green one the one that required four white right and green green is an okay color to have on this board as well. You know, helps build that engine. Yeah, yeah. There's quite a few cards that need the green. Um, back to Vlado. What is he looking at here? He's got some chips in hand. And he's yeah, gonna take just a few more. Okay. Grabs uh, a blue, green, and red. It seems. Or no, a uh, a black, black and red. I think it was black and red. Yeah. Yeah. Or brown, whatever you want to call it. I think it's technically onyx, so I think black is the correct. But oh, it yeah. looks looks brown on the on the cards sometimes. Yeah. Over to Chris. Yeah, Chris is. Oh, Chris is in a tough spot. He's going towards that that those blacks that he picked up, hoping okay. hoping that the blacks go back in. He needs three more blacks to make good on that. But then he's hit seven points, right? The magic number is 15. Yeah. Oh, there's Lloyd. See Lloyd is now a third of the way there. Five points. Making good. And that's the danger points. of taking those single cards, spending your coins on it. I mean, it's a good get from Vlado. He only, he only had to spend three three chips. It's it's one of the best level one cards to get. Right. Um, but, but you see Lloyd has two cards that have points on them. And Vlado has two cards that only have... Uh, the points on one now kind of evens out you know it's four versus five that right, i don't it's still close uh, it still feels very close amongst everyone but uh that's just that's always the fear when going for that level one i i doubt we will see another level one card get played other than the one that requires four green because it has a point on it right. i think the level one board is going to stay pretty much the same based upon the number of gems needed for each one of those right and here's john uh picking up yes. chips couple of blues grabs a couple blue that's an interesting pull i mean i guess he needs to sit on those blues for his seven white and three blue right fiber. so if he if he locks down those blues now he doesn't have to worry about them but it does give him a little bit less flexibility in terms of gathering gathering gems he would love i think to get that that one that requires three green two red two brown Mm. Or even even the two requiring um, five five red and three brown, because they would help him towards that ultimate goal. But it just depends. Dice. Yeah. How fun is that? 
<laughs> okay, Vlado's taking three chips. It's like red, green, and black. We're done before everybody else. That's the best. I'm on my final. I have time to play other games. Table talking about the benefits of taking playing those shorter games for sure. Or you get you have more time to hang out in the open gaming area and participate in other fun events that you can have at WSVG. That's right. This uh, this year's event will have well, the uh, open man, gaming uh, area <laughs> open, right? Those two guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> Luca is and and me. you can just I'll get an open gaming ticket. And I'm oh, I'm pretty sure we're working on trying to get open gaming happening the day before too. So oh, if uh, if you come in early, which is always good to do, you know, so you don't have to like come in right at the day you're going to play in a tournament. Booking that uh, booking that extra hotel room. Uh, it's. Uh, there might be, there might be, it's, I mean, that's off the record. I probably shouldn't have said it, but I said it now. So lucky <laughs> you who's listening. Um, it's something we're trying to work out. I don't think it's confirmed yet. <laughs> Heard it here first, folks. <laughs> uh, looks like Chris uh, reserved, so no points. more gold uh, gems on board. Mm -hmm. Gives him some flexibility. Yeah, Chris really hoping to see four black gems in that stack for his next move so he can just grab them and maybe complete that level three, or that, that three-pointer, rather. We can also do a little check-in for the nobles. Uh, you don't often see the nobles get utilized um, in Splendor, but sometimes if things work out, you can you can lock into them at the very end. And and that might be something that Vlado is planning on. Vlado's got a nice setup with his red and black. He might he could get that red and black noble. It feels like Vlado's the only one who could attain it. Generally, I feel you you end the game with eight or nine cards. Is is when a, a game of splendor ends up really ending. Sometimes you can end it with three cards if you just get three fives and play the gem game and get the gems uh, passed your way. Oh no, take your time. It's you know you're not in the final every day. <laughs> so far I have been. a lot of little chat there. He again doesn't say thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun table. I would love to play Splinter with these guys. You guys are yeah. Uh, okay. Let's make it it's like Lloyd's taking chips. White, red, blue. Or red, white, and blue, have you? So it's got three blues showing. And here comes John. Yeah, getting that other level two card that he that he locked down. A really nice one. I mean, John really kind of lucked out into that that level one that has a point on it. That's for yes. green. I mean, it, it it felt like he drew that uh, green before that, and so having something that synergized name? really John, well. John, Vlado, Vlado, you did mention that. That's a cool name. Chris, I mean, Chris, I'm Lloyd. Vlado. What is that? Italian. Close. It's a neighboring country. Neighboring Greece? Is that not neighboring? I don't know. My, my European <laughs> countries very well, apparently. Go uh, northwest north of north Greece west. and east of Italy. Uh, no, anybody else here? <laughs> We're Americans. We're, we, we don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to go with Switzerland, but I don't think that's quite yeah, east. I don't know what's east and south of Switzerland to match up with Italy's top. I don't know. Sorry. Um, it's Croatia. Croatia. Yeah. Croatia is Croatia. the answer to the game within the game. Where is Vlado from? <laughs> but not part of the former Congress. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it is a, it is a nice table. I've always I found that with all, most of the final tables though. Yeah, to like, distract you if you didn't notice. <laughs> whether they're chatty or like there always seem to be smiles because <laughs> Lloyd's saying he's trying to distract Vlado because Vlado's playing really well. And in return, Vlado focuses even harder. <laughs> oh, is he looking up that two black there? There it is. Gross. Purchases it. I mean, it's a great play. Oh, it's yeah. Gross. That's, that's just very nice. A bad play, but no, 
That's gross. That's gross for me. Makes me sick in my stomach is what it's doing. Well done. A nice get from Vlado, getting the six points. In the lead. Six. I think the first um, card that's been bought off of the main board as well, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. I think everything else was I think you're right. First. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, maybe his 2-1 was was not reserved at the bottom as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. But again, that, that also, that's really nice for Vlado because while reserving does get you that extra wild gem, it potentially slows you down, right? You're only getting one gem instead of two or three. And if you're able to play the board and nobody blocks you, then you're you're a step ahead of your opponents. The The problem with that is that people will likely block you. Right. Uh, especially if they see you're sitting on the gems and it might be something that they can complete. So being able to to play the board and thread that needle is a is a really important skill to have. Yeah. Yeah, huge play by Vlado. Now we're over to Chris. Uh, Chris got some work to do. He's only got one card up. He does have some couple of uh, wild uh, gems there, so... I wonder if I could, it's kind of hard to see if there are four brown in that stack. If so, it feels like Chris will grab those and then complete his his brown, but it's yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if there's three or four or two there. It's tough to see where does he go next after that. There are no sort of larger cards that require brown, and so that doesn't necessarily uh, help yeah. oh, Chris okay. or Vlado's uh, end game chances. All right, he's considering three gems right now. Um, mm -hmm. He's got them laid out there, but he hasn't officially taken it yet. So, taking his time. So he's got a red right now showing. Yeah, thinking to go in on those, on the colors that he already has. Maybe looking at that one green, requiring three blue, two brown, and three. Three white. Three white looks like three. Uh, three or two, yeah. Sometimes with those with those level ones, it's either one three and two twos, or two threes and one two, and you always want to get the <laughs> one that again costs you that one less gem. Yep. Okay, so he's gonna trade. He's actually changing out now, yeah. thinking about getting the red instead of the white, and that's what he's gonna go with, uh, blue, black, red. I like that change. I like that change a lot. I think red is a much stronger uh, position on this board, and Lloyd mm -hmm. scoops up with the reserve. Uh, a nice four pointer requires six blue, uh, three green and three white. Lloyd, you know, making sure everybody has a has a chance to see it around the table. Yeah. Yeah, and he's already what halfway there with what he's showing on his board. Oh, this is a huge card for Vlado. Nice. This is a huge card that just came up for him. Now, but there are no there are no yellow gems to reserve it. Ooh. Does he reserve it without a yellow? That is so tough. It's pretty important because he has that brown. He knows he's potentially yep. fighting Chris for the brown as well. But he also might be hoping, Chris sitting with two wilds, that Chris might be getting antsy and need might need to play those soon. Yeah, because Chris is at 10 gems, so... I think, I think you just have to hope that it comes around. Vlado's sitting in a really nice spot in that he'll be able to scoop it up before Chris can, as long as whenever somebody plays a wild, right? Yeah. Like he's sitting in the right position to go to go to battle over Browns with Chris. And right now, though, those are the two potential uh, Brown battlers. So I don't think he needs to worry about it right now. But you do see him yeah. grab that Brown, wanting Chris to spend his money and <laughs> and starting to build up to it as well. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, Vlado taking his time, but I think this is what he's going to end up doing. Yep. This and is pass huge. Over to Chris. Yeah. This is that is a huge card for Vlado to come up right now, and it'll all depend on does somebody block it, or will will Vlado get the opportunity to reserve it and get a wild at the same time? Yeah, that is huge. That would put Vlado at 11 points if he's. Able I was going to say it. I have a yeah. feeling someone's got a block because that's that's a big that's a lot of points right there in one get. But the only person who can legitimately do it, like who can justify it to themselves, is probably Chris. Yeah. And he's all, and he's all full with gems. 
in case I, yeah. I win. I, I show my card. Hypothetically, <laughs> I would rather win by being nice to you. So really? Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> sure. You know, so if I lose because of this, then I'm You're a class act. All right, here comes Chris. Reels that card, yep. Yeah, that, that little level one that he had built before going down the red train. It allows him to keep the two wilds. Uh, Lloyd going, yep, blue. Green. So Lloyd Lloyd's. at 10. So Lloyd must be sitting. It's hard to see his stack, but seeing that there aren't many whites in other people's stack, I think Lloyd has what it takes to finish up his uh, his one that he reserved. Okay, John, grab some chips, and okay, here we are, back to Vlado. Well, Vlado's choice is either decided for him, or he does something else. He wouldn't be sad picking up a white gem, it's just can he use those that red and blue for something else in the meantime? Right. Oh, I love Splendor. It's so tight. It's yeah. such a tight game. Especially at this level, right? Like, every yeah. move counts. Yeah, Vlado is... He is going to take the chip. Vlado. Just goes for blue to deny the three chip grab. Yeah. John's sitting there with a rainbow. The card, okay. I was like... Oh, a little bit of a misplay there by Vlado, and we hear we hear I think John say you already passed the card though. Ah. I think Vlado could have taken two chips and maybe only chip, took right? one. Yeah. That's tough. That okay, is a that yeah. is a tough break if that if it comes down to that one chip. Guys are the best. We'll see if that rattles them. Like, I mean, at this stage of the game, I mean Jeez. every chip counts. It's left me so much. Lloyd again Lloyd's getting about it. <laughs> getting no choice, but I think Lloyd was at ten anyway. Yeah. I guess he doesn't have three, three, and six, or else he'd be playing his blue right now, or maybe just evaluating his options. But it feels like he should be able to play that and move into the lead with nine points. Is everybody at ten? Oh, shoot. Yeah, right. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> I wasn't trying to rub it in. So I wonder if Lloyd is short. I wish you guys would stop playing so good. It's making it really hard to win. <laughs> Lloyd showing some respect to his opponents. Yeah, then I look. Then I look better. Good. Yeah, then I look better. Yeah, it's true. I said, make sure everybody knows that these guys are really good. No, it's this is a much better final table than yesterday. This is excellent. You guys are playing on the spot. So whoever wins it is respect. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're stressing me. Yeah, Lloyd agonizing over this decision, going for yeah. a, sm a small little grab here. Oh, wow. Okay. Pulls in a brown, which doesn't support oh, his... Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to me either. <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd, uh, Lloyd, Lloyd hearing me from the future. <laughs> it, it, is a, it is a tough, but it's just sort of him buying time, so I think he can, he can have the time to get the chips he needs to complete yeah. the higher-ups. Uh, it's it's the least damage to his stack. He doesn't need that red. He needs another turn to take gems anyway. So you might as well build up your engine. Yep. It feels like a pretty decent play considering the, the the state of the board. Yeah, and he's able to keep those blues. And then John came by, uh, came out and played his uh, yep. one white. So he's got another point on board. Yep. John at five points now. Lloyd at five. Vlado at six. And Chris at four.
I'm wondering if Vlado's thinking about that misplay in the last turn. Yeah, would that extra chip have yeah. been, have enabled him to do something? But if we learned one thing earlier in this stream, when Vlad was under the gun, what does he do? He focuses harder. Exactly. Just as I arbitrarily said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of these players are really competitive with each other right now. I like to think about what people have in the bank, though. Like, Vlado clearly needs that. If he can get that five, that's that's what he's focused on. But now how do you build to that five? Do you get additional whites? Do you get additional browns that are on the board? Somebody sitting on blues, Lloyd might just snatch up that brown. Like, this could be, this could actually be dangerous for Vlado's position. Because if Lloyd snatches up that one brown... And then plays his blues, and then all he needs to do is focus on stealing that, that level 5 from Vlado, and that's Lloyd's path to victory right there. Okay, so Vlado takes chips. He may be maxed out now. It's really only an 8. It's really only an 8? Oh, wow, I see, of course. Okay. Clearly, I need to go back to them. For some reason, I feel like it might have actually helped you in a weird way, because <laughs> you were, like, able to double red there. <laughs> Oh, like it might have been a mistake, but it actually doesn't even seem like it was all that, like, might have was it intentional? Was it intentional? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no, I already passed the card. <laughs> that would be an interesting uh, way of trying to confuse. That would be next <laughs> level. That would be like. That's how I play it, uh, personally. I just sort of luck into my moves. As, oh, yeah. yeah, I meant to do that. <laughs> all right, Chris on board right now. Plenty of chips to play with. What's he going to come out yeah. with that's the Sitting question at nine he can't hit his six brown yet he's been waiting but people have been hoarding the browns away from him <laughs> you know, i think any, right? this game might really come down to uh or at least the battle right now i feel is no gold. because everybody that's takes me. the gold before it could come to that's weird <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's weird it's like I think it, it, it'll depend on if Chris or if John spend their wild first. Do you think if like one of us went like synergy, like if three of us are playing big money like this, like you think if one person went synergy, they would be like kind of. I just think they would lose, and that person after them. Yeah, would it feels like Chris has been sitting on those That's two wilds for a That's while now. That's what I now. think happens, but, but Lloyd Lloyd making an interesting we're all doing the same conversation. Like, what would happen if somebody was going super synergy, like trying to do the littles, trying to hit the nobles, right? Would, who who would come out on top? And he's yeah. hypothesizing that it's the person next to that person. Who would, because, because the chips. It's on my shelf the rest of the year. Yeah, that would be interesting, right? You'd all do the same strategy, but then someone goes against that. Chris just grabbing one red, huh. not wanting to spend those two two yellows just yet, maybe saving up for that two diamond in the middle there, five red and three brown. Huh. I could see that pivot potentially. That's yeah, that way he gets to keep those yellows. At least keep one of them. Yeah. And especially with just the conversation that was being held around the table, you can see that everybody is so quick to gobble up those wilds. Yeah. Yeah. They all know the cards that they want. This is a really tight game. No, right? Clearly, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> you cannot mess around with this final table, folks. Winning, oh, yeah. In my estimation. Oh, yeah. Being yeah, Lloyd is just dying for those blues. Point. What's your chip count? Ten? Yes. Exactly. He's at four and also a ten, and he's at five. Yes, and sir. less chips, too. I'm at five with less chips as well. Sounds like you're yeah, winning. winning. <laughs> Do you know what you <laughs> Remember that? You can so reserve a card, too. He's, he's <laughs> <laughs> I could without the gold. You yes, can. Yeah, you just yeah, don't sure. get a gold. Yeah. 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 I love Lloyd providing the commentary here. He's making our job easy. Right? But I've thought about it long enough. I've thought long and hard. And I do have at least something that's not the worst end of the world. Grabs two green. A 
guess was deciding on if you just picked up one green, one white, and one red, right? Again, going towards Lloyd's ultimate goal. But scooping up those two green. Okay, here comes John with a white, green, and red. Oh, he's getting close to be maxed out and back to Vlado. We're seeing Vlado head in his hands. Not quite sure what to do right now. <clears throat> Doesn't want to spend those chips. Yeah. So that someone else can grab them. But Chris sitting at 10, you know, Lloyd close to that. It's not a horrible time to spend chips, right? When everybody else is going to have to spend anyway. Then right. you get your, your pick of the litter and, and be able to reset. But you want to spend as few as possible. Right. Yeah, he doesn't want to open it up for his opponents, but mm -hmm. you're right, because Chris does have, he's maxed out, but I think Vlado's worried about Lloyd coming in to swoop in. I would be too, yeah. That there's, he was running away with the brown and then uh, no longer needs to worry about it. I'm, I am a bit surprised that Lloyd didn't go to grab that brown, but I think Lloyd knows that if he, well, if Lloyd, Lloyd's card that he has reserved is a four, if he was able to get that brown plus his reserve card, Hits him to gets him to ten, and then all he needs is that additional five. Yeah. With two brown building towards that that stack, that potential efficiency, it is tough though because you're relying on double double grabs to complete those. Right. Especially when your opponents are so wary of giving up too many chips. Six. Why don't you go to eight? All right. Vlado looking at the chips down. here. I mean, yeah, looks yeah, like he's going to buy. Right. I'm not going to say anything. I'm, 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 I'm being quiet now. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I think that's a little, that's a little too much. Yeah. Not that we all are yeah. capable yeah. players, but I think that's a little too much. Um, so, the question is... Chris saying, stop telling Vlado about the card that I want to buy. <laughs> that's what that's code for. <laughs> wow. And again, a swap. We see these players are just playing so tight with chips. Yeah. It, and in on one hand, I like that. But on the other hand, I again, I'm I'm wondering if somebody could eke out additional efficiency if they were able to pull the trigger on a couple little ones quickly. You know, especially when everybody around the table is playing so tight. Right. Like you eke out a bunch of those little ones, all of a sudden, I mean, who knows? You get a noble in addition to what you have. I mean, yeah, this is a really tight game, Chris. I think we're going to see a purchase from Chris here, though. I, I don't see how he doesn't purchase that, too. Yeah. I although don't... it doesn't, like, benefit his his card that he has in reserve. It's at least getting him back into the game. Right. Yeah, he, he needs some points on the board here. But again, he's worried about the other players. Like, what's mm -hmm. he going to give up? And those chips, they help everyone else out. And he just goes for a swap. Swapping to a green. What does one green get wow. you at this point? Interesting. Not a whole lot. And that that actually might be a lovely get for Lloyd because we know that his his card requires blue, green, and white. It's, <laughs> right. It's Flato expressing his enjoyment of the game so far. Yeah, let's check I down think, uh, his health yeah. tracker right now. I'm sure it's through, through the <laughs> roof right now. I think everybody everybody around the table, there's a real sense of everybody recognizing each other's skill. And yeah. I think everybody is seeing that, and it's it's all people jockeying for position yeah. right now. Still yeah. here, guys. I, As the kids would say, the, game recognizes game. I might have to do a lot of work. I'm not playing the hero. I just, Lloyd's talking. I said, I can't play this talking game. Talking about his move. Because, uh, he really wants to spend those chips. Yeah, Great. he's saying he's he's got to break the stalemate somehow. Yeah, so at least he gets a point out of it, but those blues go back into the supply. Which and I he picks up that, that card, which is, I think, a nice get for Lloyd. I think it's a nice get for Lloyd's strategy. Yeah. Can you do that before he passes? Yes. Okay. But then he can't. Then that would mean... It, 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 you have the same okay. Yes, but if he wants to change his mind, for example, right. if it's I... Already, he's I'm, already played the locked. trips. It's, oh. He's done. Okay. 
we see the reveal. My theory about um, level one cards not being purchased from that point on was incorrect, I f if you're keeping track with Lloyd's uh, Brown play, but that opened up that I mean, additional. At least I'm not in the stalemate. Yeah. I think my only choice is to not sit, <laughs> is to start doing hey, something. Yeah, oh, I think. So tight, you got a point, so that's, I think, a pretty good You would have got there. points, but I mean, I'm just for biding your time, not letting anybody else. I mean, I understand it. Oh, and here, here it happens. John drops his wild down. He's buying this one blue, and that's going to be music to Vlado's ears. Yes. See? The floodgates are open now. People are playing cards. There is that wild, and the floodgates are open. Yeah. Now we're talking, Vlado says. Let's see if he goes for that yeah. five. Yeah. Players know this is a big moment. Things are opening up now. Yeah, it somehow feels like it was a bit of a mistake for Chris to do that swap with the green. I don't see what Chris benefited from there. I think Chris should have pulled the trigger on taking a card. And we see Vlado get that get that five, which we knew he wanted desperately. He's been, yep. there he's it been is. playing for it, and that's a huge get for him. If the players weren't scared of him before, they certainly are now. <laughs> yeah. Gross. He is the one to beat. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, there's no gold. And there's no gold. Lloyd desperately wanting to play it, but I think he might get lucky. Uh, it might be it might be a lovely a, a lovely get for Lloyd as uh, Chris has to spend his chips on something now. He's got to be feeling the pressure. Yeah. Chris yeah, wanting those brown running. to go in, but I he, uh, Chris being in just like vlado has been holding on to them because we knew he wanted that one card. Interesting. And so Chris was holding out hope that he could get some rounds, but I think might have wasted uh, a few too many turns waiting on that rather than moving forward in, a, in another way. Right. Yeah, tough spot to be in. Do you still have to beat 10 chips? 10 chips. Put one, did he put one back? Put one back. Yeah. Well, do you mind passing yeah. your chips, sorry? Oh, sure. Sure. Like, oh, he has a potential of uh, Yeah, Chris five, did a 10 chips, just black, verifying. Three red. He has five black, or f no, he must have three black. So three five blacks black, with the two whites. Yeah, 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 five black with the yeah five black total of his buying power. Because you, you're the guy who's yeah, who's yeah, being I, very quiet, but you know, well, he's definitely hanging in there. Yeah, he's he's at six as well. Yeah, but his reserve card. Oof, yeah, Your reserve a, card is also a woof. Yeah. <laughs> Vlado's saying, yes, but remember, John got a five before me, so <laughs> let's not worry about that. What What is interesting, though, we might see Vlado spend his wild and just take that four, that seven bl black that's up. Right. Oh, look at that. Yes. We see another little mini swap from Chris. It just feels... Like, that's three in a row from Chris. Those are three yeah. turns where he could have purchased something and flipped back in. I think he's gotten too tunnel visioned on that uh, on that black or worried about keeping black away from Vlado. We see Lloyd just grab, moving towards his four-pointer. He loves that those blues. Sense. But I think, I think Chris being chip tight uh, has really benefited both John and Vlado and has, has hindered Lloyd quite significantly. Right. Because Lloyd would jump all over the chips as they were thrown in there. And let's see if Vlado goes for this seven. That's what I want to see. If he goes for the seven black, he right. then would be at ten points and all he would need would be to get five more black and uh, one more, two more white to, to hit fifteen. Friend. He's, he's contemplating it. I think it yeah. is the right move. I really think he's leaning towards doing this. I don't think I would Yeah. And Chris not spending those wild made it so nobody wanted to reserve it away from Vlado. There it is. And there he is. He takes it. That's that's Vlado's path to victory right gotcha. there. Yep. Vlado's at 10 right now, sitting on a 5 in his reserve. His, his plan is mapped out, although another five comes up, a seven green, and wow. red. Nobody's really coming 
or has been lucking into that with their engine. John, the only one who has green, but but not a lot. Yeah. Okay. Here's Chris opening things up. Chris Bye. opening the door, finally shuffling things around, spending spending six three three for his level four, putting him at eight Ten. eight points. But that's music to Vlado's ears because Vlado's going to be able to draw those two black chips yep. on his turn. That is that is perfect for Vlado. And we see Lloyd counting 10 and just seeing yeah. if there's a way to stop Vlado at this point out. I don't know. Like, it feels like it would take Lloyd and John both to block Vlado at this point. They both have to need Browns, and right. there aren't there aren't those Browns on the board. It, 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 it The only way to do it would have been to reserve that one without getting a gold, but nobody wanted to take that, take that <laughs> yeah. risk. Nobody wanted to take that, and in doing so, they left the door wide open for Vlado to get a card that sets him up perfectly for his final play. Lloyd just making change. Blue, white... I think just off camera, underneath his uh, his picture, he has a wild, so he'll be able to complete his big four on the next, moving him to ten, and then it's just the race for those final five. Yeah, yeah. Plato's John's in a great sitting position at six here. points as well, wanting to get his five in play, but is is a little bit behind. Yeah, Vlado feels yeah. unstoppable with the current chip count right now. Yeah, yeah. Vlado's definitely in the driver's seat from this point. To the final the, coming down the stretch here. Uh, let's see, John's going to reserve. John reserving, but it feels like too little, too late at this point yeah. with the with the chips. We're going to see Vlado instant instantly grab two black. Black red has been paying off this game. Enough for two players. That's crazy. Yeah, Vlado takes a moment to analyze the board, but yeah, there it is. Grabs the black. We see we see Chris grab the black. At least Chris will be fighting it out for a little bit of black because we know he has that three three pointer in there. Lloyd manages to complete his big four, putting him to ten points. Now it's ten ten. Uh, Chris with six. Chris with eight, and John with six. All the chips back in the supply. Yeah, Chris was sitting on it for so long, but he wanted that big four. I'd forgotten that he was working towards that. That makes sense why he was juggling so much, but I, I just worry that he's only got a path to 11 right now, and there's no solid four-pointer for Chris to be focusing on. John's taking chips. <clears throat> There are not enough uh, black chips on the board for Vlado to take them, but we might see him, we'll see him grab a black, a white, and another color. Maybe something that he can use his blue for. He doesn't quite need it, the, judging by the board. Maybe an additional blue, he could... He could sneak in that that one green if he's if he's buying time. Mm, yeah. But it's probably probably not an actual viable option. I mean, a good thing for Vlado. I mean, he is like a turn ahead everyone at least, uh, just based on chips and whatnot. Let's see what Vlado does here. It's yeah, the chips. obvious brown and white. And then which one to take? Maybe looking, surveying the board, seeing what other people might need, seeing if he can block a double grab. We see the expression of John's face looking at Vlado's cards <laughs> a little. I think he knows. I'm just so blown away by how long both of those cards were out there for, for that were so perfect for Vlado's engine and that nobody denied them. Right. Because, because people people didn't want to waste that efficiency, I suppose, right? And they needed the they needed the yellow chips. Yeah. But I think if you're Chris, that that ultimately 
ultimately comes down to down to you, who ne that you needed to spend your yellow chips so that the other two players could steal them, reserve those cards, and right. eliminate Vlado from from the competition. Yeah, it's such a timing issue, right? Like when when do you pull the trigger? Um, we've it seems like Chris might have waited too long, but who knows? Uh, maybe he's got something up his sleeve here. That's true. He does have he does have four four black right? building towards that uh, that three. So maybe he's just biding his time until now. And Chris does does have two cards in his hand. I thought he only had one. He certainly only has one that I'm I was keeping track of. Right. Back to Lloyd. I feel like Lloyd's got some work out. Yeah, Lloyd. Lloyd's at ten, which is a great number, but he knows Vlado's sitting on a five, and that that green five out there is just going to take a little bit too long to get to. Right. So he's probably got to create some combo of of a two and a three. What are his options here? He, he doesn't have a great spread. I mean, there's the three diamond up top, but that would still require five reds. Yeah, which he has none showing right now. Yeah, he's got the other colors semi-covered. You could take two red here and then draw one, 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 but you still are hoping to... Like, the only way you hit that is still four turns away from getting three points, which is a lot of turns. Right. Yeah, I just don't think he has enough time. At this point for Lloyd, best move might be to take a Hail Mary um, reserve from the second pile. Yeah, what does he reserve, though? Does he go for was well, it, I'm two saying diamond? He, he might he might reserve a face down. Cause you can oh, you're talking face the down. Part of the oh, deck. Wow. Yeah, he might... He, it might be the best play for him at this point. Yeah. It gives him it gives him a flexibility. He might luck into something that's that needs blue or is very brown forward. That's right. And that's a move that I think a lot of people forget about Splendor. You can reserve off, you know, blind off one of those decks. Um, of course it's it is certainly a gamble. not. Yeah, certainly not optimal. Yeah. But we're we are in Vegas. So you know, maybe when in Vegas pay off. You gotta gamble, folks. <laughs> Well, in essence, that's what you're doing any time you leave a card on the table, right? We've seen these players yeah. really reserve heavy because they don't they don't want to take those risks. Uh, and I think we've seen yeah, yeah. the benefit of of Vlado reserving less cards than everybody else right. because he's been able to take more gems. Lloyd really uh, mulling over his options here. Yeah, Lloyd. Lloyd, knowing that there's there's not much for him right now, he opts for white, blue, and green, getting his stack at three blue. John just opting for a, a small get down in the bottom. That feels like a not a bad play. I guess John still needs to build for his uh, his seven three. Right. So he's going to work towards that. But John's still only sitting in six points. Vlado has not many options here. Probably will just reserve, or might build towards getting that. If I were, if I were Vlado, I might reserve that newly revealed black at the bottom that feels like it's falling right into his hands. Yeah. It gives him something to do with his red. It gives him something to do in in between, and gives him that wild. Then all he needs to do is collect two red and a green, and he's got that locked in, and it moves him towards his ultimate goal. I feel like that's the play. Yeah. Because I feel like, especially because everyone knows he's chip leader, and with uh, looking at... Chris's stack right now, that's one that Chris would snap up instantly. Right. He's got the chips to do it. He'll just play it, add to his stack of browns, and then be closer to closer to playing that uh, that three brown that we know he has reserved. And Vlado makes the play a really nice, nice, nice and I believe the correct play for sure. 
giving him something to do with his green gems and his red gems that he has, and then also contributing to uh, essentially getting him two brown with that move over two turns. Everybody's starving him out, but he's he's making creative ways to to get those back in action. And oh man, what another awesome level one card for Vlado if that comes yeah. back around to him. Look at that. He needs the white and he needs the black. Everything is just coming up for Vlado. <laughs> he may not even need it though. He might already have the whites he needs. Yeah, but especially with the wild he just got. Yeah. That's a nice uh, a nice freebie out there for a very, very low cost. Over to Chris. Chris is probably pretty sad that Flotto took that took that <laughs> card. Really seizing upon that opportunity as it presents, and that's that's another tough thing about reserving is you never know what's going to come up. You see that in a game like Dune Imperium, the the card market will stall for so long because nobody wants to take a suboptimal card and potentially open up an option for their opponent. Stand up. Is that okay? Action's on Chris. Action's on Chris. We have a bit of a camera freeze for Vlado and John right. as well. So to put everybody on the same equal playing field going into this final stretch. <laughs> there you go. And they're all flattering shots, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah, Lloyd slipped me some money under the table. <laughs> So it's over to Chris. I think Vlado wins this in potentially two turns. I think he might have enough chips to do it. I think he buys that one he just reserved, putting him at three, um, three brown. And then all he needs is four brown in his stack. I think he has the two white. And I think with that extra, he had he had pulled the two, uh, the two brown from a previous turn. I think he might have enough to, to win in either two turns or three turns. That's all the time the rest of the players have. Two to three turns. I forgot to wear it. Yeah, so yeah, if you're if you're not named Lotto, you need to start scoring points ASAP. Yeah. But I wear it a lot. It's a bit of an effect when I'm gaming because I can like pull it down a little bit when I was concentrating. It helps zone out. Yeah. I think the players are were taking a, a quick bathroom break, but um, not a stretching break, not realizing that the game is almost over. <laughs> there, you'll, there'll be time to stretch in just a few minutes because Vlado has his end game in play, and I don't know if anyone's going to be able to catch up. Yeah, I just don't think there's enough time. I mean, John looks like he'll probably score something this turn. Yeah. Chris probably can too, but again, once you score that, it's going to reset you. And I think mm -hmm. Otto is, yeah, he's narrowing his way. He's uh, focused on getting that one last card played for the point winner. I think uh, the only one who really has a chance with this setup is Lloyd. He's yeah. he's still at ten points. He's building into something, but he would need a big fiver or a couple of solid back to backs. And yeah. it feels like he might just be a couple turns short. We see play proceed. <laughs> Lloyd, I don't think Lloyd stood up to stretch. Yeah, Vlado being at 10 points and 10 chips is very scary. Yeah, yeah I, f I feel like he controls his uh, destiny at this point. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how Vlado got so far ahead. Like, it seemed yeah. like everyone was so deadlocked. And then, boom, I mean, he had a good card draw that flipped up. But all the other players had the opportunity to take that away from him, and they just did not. Yeah. Yeah, Vlado's showing. He's got three. He's got three whites. So more than enough whites. All right. 
Well, I think I got a gamble, guys. Take it I, from the top. I think that's exactly it. Talking about so gambling. I think I, I think I mean we were talking about that. It feels like Lloyd does need to need to take a gamble and and hope yep. to hit something. Yeah. But does he go for a level two stack or level uh, three stack? That's the question. He's going for three, hoping to get a five. I love it. Not I love that guys. play. <laughs> Not showing anybody, keeping us all in suspense. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of the perfect <laughs> part. Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, the the players, Vlado and John, trying to get a glimpse, saying, hey, Lloyd, your camera's just right over our shoulder here. You should show the camera. And Vlado now saying, see, John's in the lead. You don't have to worry about me. John's in the lead. Vlado playing my sort of game. Yeah. Very clearly in the lead and still pointing out <laughs> that someone else might creep up on you. I love it. Oh, I saw Vlado reaching for chips there. I was like, I was very shocked. Yeah, me too. Because <laughs> there are no brown ones out there. But yeah, John is in the lead. John hitting 11 now. Yeah. Don't forget, one of us gets the same points. We're in the tiebreaker over here. <laughs> You're also... Uh, I still think I'm going to be like a turn behind you. Yeah, Vlado also, I think so. Vlado could, has two options here. Vlado could build the card he had reserved and put into... Oh, what a, what a masterful play that was. Because Vlado could build the card that he had and put himself within that one turn of winning, going on his, his black. But he also is so mindful of this game and is saying, listen, just in case there's a tiebreaker... In case there's a tiebreaker, the tiebreaker is the fewest cards used. So he opts to choose that wild token instead so that he doesn't have to build the card so that he's better in the in the, in the the tiebreaker in case it happens. And he reserves off the top to make sure that no new information is shown for his opponents. It is such a masterful play to finish this game out. And I think we're going to see that finish happen. Uh, as Lloyd will get two more turns and then everybody else trying to get that one turn. Lloyd grabs some blue. I don't think he hit a five blue because he needed... It's tough for Lloyd because of his card distribution. We know the fives that would work with Lloyd are actually already used. We see John just grabbing chips. It's all he can do. And will Vlado close it out right now? He's reaching for his chips. Counting them up shows the five. Oh! <laughs> Hits the Lotto, 15. Lotto. We hear the sigh of agony <laughs> from done, Lloyd. What could we have done? Chris uh, buys from the board. Yep, Chris getting that uh, that two, that five, three that he could that he could have had a nice consolation ten. We'll see if Lloyd can purchase anything from the board just as a consolation prize, but there's no there's no real feasible way for Lloyd to get five points. Lloyd says oh, you drew. Oh, you drew. Lloyd okay. says I have fifteen oh, next nice. turn. Oh. Lloyd said I have fifteen next oh, turn. Wow. Wow, he drew the gamble paid off. <laughs> he drew the seven three. Wow. wow. Lloyd's gamble almost pays off and pulls Imagine out. Imagine that what a what a pull, but it is just one one turn short. Oh I had kind of forgotten what you had, but I was pretty oh sure you had it. I keep looking at his cards, I'm like, he has it, doesn't he? He has it. Very just in the short. Wow. You didn't have it last turn? I thought you had it last turn. No, no. Well, Lloyd thought he had it last turn, but he needed that one extra. <laughs> so that that yeah, that miss grab of the chips, it didn't even matter. Vlado didn't even need those chips. Yeah. He had all the chips he needed. Uh, the cards came up for him, and it is Vlado who becomes our 2023 Splendor Champion.
Wow, that was a very impressive game. Really impressively played from all all players around the table. Such a tight game, yeah. like really aware of each other's skill level. Just great showing all around. I think that was the thing that impressed me the most, Chris. Like every player knew exactly what they're doing. Mm-hmm. I mean, they they knew all the, they're all on the same wavelength and they're playing the exact uh, like the the most optimal way possible. And you know, even we we thought it for a second there that one misplay by Vlado might have cost him, but it yeah. didn't. I mean, he was he was well said. And how exciting would that have been for Lloyd to pull that card? And it, he yeah. had one more turn. He went that that's incredible. He had one more he turn to that. hit 15. If Vlado wow. had been a little bit slower. Uh, yeah. Vlado again being so mindful of that tiebreaker, he might have yeah. done it. He might have won it in the tiebreaker. But Splendor yeah. is just oh, such a tight so game. So good. So wow. Good. Yeah, an incredible pull. Hey, that's when you're in Vegas. It's okay to gamble. And Lloyd <laughs> showing his skill as a raw player, pushing his luck, going from the top and almost yeah. coming out. Uh, but it is Vlado who becomes our 2023 champion and has moved on into the semifinals, uh, actually into the semifinal game of Gaia Project, which I just commentated on last week. Uh, so if you're interested in checking that out, it's a big, long four-hour game. I con- I con- commentated it on with the Gaia 2022 winner and our second-place finisher, Cliff Flaxenhair. Uh, and it's If you like Gaia Project, you should go check it out. It's, uh, see how Splendor's skills translate to Gaia Project. It's a, it's a good game. <laughs> Very competitive from all people around that one as well. So there we go. That's it. Um, Thanks, everybody, for watching. That ends our coverage of the 2023 World Series of Board Gaming. Uh, If you want to check out any more of the action, they're all over on Dice Tower. There's also a playlist on WSBG's official channel. Uh, And if you just want to hang out and talk board games, well, you can also go hang out with Ruel in all of the amazing things that Ruel does. Ruel, where can people find you? Thanks, Chris. Uh, people, you can find me all over the interwebs, uh, sometimes on the R&R show with this fine gentleman. That's and true. And also Ray Billings over there. Uh, every Tuesday at noon Pacific over the Rotter Runs Through channel, we just hang out and we do a top 10 list. We hang out and chat about games, have a great time. And speaking of great times, on Wednesday mornings, I hang out with Becca Scott for Good Morning Society, where we talk about games and be a little silly and enjoy the company of each other. And you can find me all over the interwebs, folks, at Ruel Gavio. Yeah, you ever want Good Morning America just to be talking about board games? Well, now you've got it. Exactly. Good morning. Good morning, Ruel. Good morning, Becca. Go check out all that <laughs> stuff. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Drop your your comments down below of uh, where could the other players have stopped Vlado? Where could you have stopped Vlado? And uh, if you're interested in participating, remember to, be, to use that code I am in. Anybody can sign up. It's a very friendly. You can tell by the final table. Everybody there is playing for the glory, the big ring of of being the Splendor 2023 champion. And there's still, you know, laughter, smiles, good spirits all around. That's emblematic of the environment that we try to foster at the World Series of Board Gaming. And if you're interested in putting your skills to the test and maybe getting that fame and glory for yourself, well, you can buy your tickets at WSBGVegas.com and save yourself some money. I want you to save money and I want to see you all there. Uh, Ruel, any any closing thoughts before we let let our friends go? Um, the only closing thought is I need to practice my Splendor game, Chris. I mean, just <laughs> it was really cool to see this because I normally play Splendor a lot differently. And just seeing mm. this, and I actually got to talk to uh, Angela Tower, 2023 overall champion, WSPG. Right. She gave me some hints as well. And it all lines up with what we just saw, right? Going for those big point cards, using the reserve power. I normally play like, oh, I want to build a small engine, but then I always lose. So I need to do <laughs> other things to uh, improve my game. Well, now you've got the tips. Maybe we'll see you at the final table of Splendor in 2024, Ruel. It it may happen. You may not be commentating. You might be at the table. Uh, I would love that. (laughs) (laughs) Or maybe it'll be one of you watching, in which case I hope it is. Let me know at the event if it is. Um, I look forward to seeing you all in Vegas. And thanks, everybody, for stopping by.